SQL allows the keywords all, any, or equivalently some to compare a single value with all the values returned by a subquery. On this slide, we see an example use of the all keyword. Here we have a comparison that compares x dot points with all the values computed by the subquery. This comparison is true if x dot points is greater or equal than all the values in the subquery. This can be an arbitrary comparison. And the all means that we universally quantify this comparison. We compare x dot points with all the values, and this comparison always needs to be true. We can also existentially quantify this comparison. If we write here any or some, then this comparison will be true if x dot points is greater or equal than at least one of the values computed by the subquery. If we write all, then it must be greater or equal than all the values computed by the subquery. There's one important restriction. The subquery must compute a single column table. And this is of course guaranteed here because we select a single column for the output. So let's have a look what this query computes. The inner query queries the results table. It looks only at homework one results and of each of them, it outputs the points. So we will get a single column with all the points obtained for homework one. The outer query queries the students and the results table. It looks only at results belonging to the student and only at homework one results. So X is a homework one result of the student S, if it exists. And we require that the number of points obtained on this homework by the student S is greater or equal than all homework one results. So indeed, this will be true if it's the best homework one result. So this query gives us all the students that have obtained the best homework one result. This universal quantification greater or equal than all can equivalently be expressed using an extension quantification by writing not smaller than any. So this query will give us the same result. In principle, we do not need the keywords all, any, or some. They do not extend the expressiveness of XQL. If we have a statement of the form a is smaller than any, and then a subquery that selects some attribute b. This statement can always be equivalently formulated using exists, with basically the same subquery, but an additional condition in the where clause, where we say that we only look at those rows where a is smaller than b. This statement is true if the subquery returns at least one row where a is smaller than b. Likewise, this statement is true if this subquery returns a non-empty result, that means there's at least one row where a is smaller than b. So these two statements are equivalent. In principle, we also don't need the in keyword. We can always express x is in s. So re recall what this means. It means that the attribute value x appears in the subquery computed in s. This is equivalent to saying that x is equal to some row in s. Any and some are synonyms. So this is exactly what we say here. x is equal to some row in S.